Okay. Let's make some fat bombs together. Now, before we get too far with this, you're probably gonna ask me what's a fat bomb and why would I even want to eat one? Well, a fat bomb is a great way to get more fats into your day. Um, fat bombs can serve a couple of purposes. First of all, they're great for increasing fat. Um, they can be a meal substitute, they can be a snack. Um, when you first start a ketogenic diet, you've got to switch your body from being a glucose burner, sugar burner, to being a fat burner. And so one of the things that you want to do with um, a high fat diet is give your body enough fat so that it's not hungry. So fat bombs are great for when you're hungry, when you're having cravings, and we'll talk more about that as we go, um, and just increasing the fat. Can you eat too many fat bombs? Sure you can, and like I said, we'll talk as we work. The um, general rule of thumb with a fat bomb is, for me, when I make them, is you can make them sweet or you can make them savory. I'm actually going to be making sweet ones today, and then maybe we'll get another video later of savory ones. Um, I'm starting with each of the fat bombs with about half fat and half, um, excuse me, half coconut oil and half butter. So I've just put in some Kerrygold butter. There's about four ounces of that. There's also about four ounces of coconut butter. And the first flavor we're going to make, I'm going to put this in the microwave to melt. The first um, flavor we're going to make is an orange like creamsicle. Now this one does have dairy and generally I don't make them with dairy, but this is just happens to be the first one in line for the microwave. So I've got about four ounces of butter, about four ounces of coconut oil. I've not been exact in measuring that. And then I have three ounces of cream cheese. I don't usually put dairy, I'm going to add this to it. I don't usually put dairy in my fat bombs because dairy tends to cause me to stall. But in this case, um, I'm going to just for the sake of showing you. And this is a fat bomb my daughter really loves. So I'm going to melt that in. Once that's done, I'm going to add orange extract. That's where our orange is going to come from. And I'm going to add some salt. And this is just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm also going to use some vanilla extract. Now, after we make our yummy um, orange creamsicle fat bomb, we're going to make a peppermint patty with chocolate and peppermint oil. And we're going to make a peanut butter cup one or peanut butter flavored one. All right, let's see how we've gotten here. And generally, I use my microwave. The hard part about making a fat bomb is just getting everything mixed. And I could put the whole thing, once I get it kind of melted, I could put it in to my Ninja and just blend it up, or I can use an immersion blender. The important thing is getting all the fats mixed in together. I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt, and that was just a quarter of a teaspoon. With the orange extract, I'm going to use a half teaspoon. I don't have all my measures out. This is a half teaspoon of orange oil. So uh, because I've got a quarter, I'm going to do it twice. It smells so good. And I'm going to add vanilla. I guess my table's not level because that door always swings open. And I'm just going to put the same thing, about a half teaspoon of vanilla. And I will taste this before. And we've got to put sweetener. Now, I intend to do a, a video really soon about sweeteners. What you want to do is use a sweetener that's going to dissolve. Now, typically what I would use is um, the Sucrin Plus. This is a blend of erythritol and stevia that does not have an aftertaste, but it can be gritty. So I don't want to use that. What I would tend to use if I don't use that is my Sucrin Melis. The Melis is a powdered sugar. And if I can get it open, the Melis is a powdered sugar and here it is. I would use a couple of teaspoons of that. Um, because it's a powdered sugar, it blends really easily. And so that is three teaspoons, actually heaping teaspoons, probably more like four teaspoons. So I put that in, blend it, taste it for sweetness. Another really good option when you're doing um, fat bombs is to use a liquid sweetener like this. Use um, the sucra drops, that's another good option. Or to use um, stevia, which this is, I haven't found a stevia I liked until I found this. And this is 90% stevia sides. And so it works really well in fat bombs. I'm gonna add to this some of the liquid sucra really quick. 
I'm putting in five drops and that should be enough sweetness. Let's put it back in the microwave and while that's in the microwave, I'm gonna grab the immersion blender. Now, once we get all this mixed, we have to figure out what to do with it. And there are lots of options. I have some really cute molds and they're Christmassy <laughs> and they're leaves. And so that the molds look, work great and I'll use those. I think I'm gonna use those for the Almond Joy, or excuse me, Almond Joy, for the um, peppermint patty. I think what I'm gonna do for this one is simply use a glass baking dish. And what I found about using the glass baking dish is I can just pour it in and it works great. Um, Grace, can you hand me some heavy cream? It works great just to um, pour it in the baking dish and then I can cut it into whatever size. Heavy cream. All right, let's put the immersion blender in and pray I don't make a mess all over my kitchen. Um, as long everybody tells me as long as I keep the immersion blender down in there, and this may need some cream um, just to thin it out with the, um, thank you Grace. I'm gonna put a little bit of cream, and again, this is not dairy free. Um, and it's very thick. And the fat gets emulsified uh, from the blending. One of the reasons you want to blend it really well is that the fat bombs can separate. And so we want to blend it really well so that it doesn't separate. Let's give it a try. That is so good. Mm. It could be a little sweeter, but I think it's perfect. I'm actually going to add a little more orange flavor to it. I put a half teaspoon in before. I think another quarter teaspoon would be great. I don't even have to do this. It's so yummy. Ooh. But that will just intensify the flavor. So that is orange extract. Pretty easy to find. Somebody said they were using stir syrups and really like that in um, recipes. I'm gonna thin it just a little more with the cream. And that's it. That is a really good creamy fat bomb. And again, you can put them in mini muffin tins. You can do any number of things with those. Um, I'm gonna get the, the best of it off. Say the worst of it, get the best of it off. And then again, I don't need to, it's got so much fat, I don't need to grease this at all. I just need to find a fat, a flat place, not a fat place, a flat place in my refrigerator. and let it sit up and it will harden. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. That's really warm from being in the microwave. And the thing about fat bombs is they're self-limiting. If you get too much of them, too much fat, it will have a laxative effect. And so you wanna take it easy. The thing about fat is it's very satiating. If you are having one of those days where you're having a lot of cravings or you're feeling really hungry, that is a great option. All right, I'm gonna hand this off. This is the Orange Dream Sickle. Grace, you wanna put your finger in that? Um, I'm gonna ask Grace to put that in the fridge for me. She's been a great helper today. And I'm also gonna give her this. <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Okay. I'm about to knock cream off the cabinet. Okay, let me hand this off to her. Okay, so the next one we're gonna make, and again, I've got pretty much equal amounts of coconut oil and butter, about four ounces of each. Coconut butter, little thing about coconut butter that you need to remember. Refined coconut butter does not have as strong a coconut taste as unrefined. And so that is something in my house we tend to use refined because my husband simply doesn't like the flavor. Um, while I melt this, I'm going to add to it coconut butter. And this is a good two to three tablespoons of coconut butter. Again, I wasn't exact. My rule of thumb for making a fat bomb is to use equal amounts of coconut oil and butter and then add a thickener to it. And in terms of a thickener, I used cream cheese for the dairy one. I used, oops, sorry. I used cream cheese for the dairy one. Um, and this one for the thickener, I'm using the coconut cream or the coconut, um, it's technically called coconut butter. Some people call it coconut manna. It has different names, but coconut butter, coconut manna, all of those things work. Okay, and I'm gonna use, I think, 
well, I'm going to stick to my Sucre Melis. Um, I'm tempted to use this, but I'm a little bit, I haven't learned exactly how to use it. So when I do that video, I'll show you. So we're melting the butter, the coconut butter, and the um, coconut oil. If you haven't tried coconut butter, I do love it. Again, it comes as coconut manna. It's a little higher carb, and so I do have to be careful with it, but it's a good, it's got great fat. All right, so let's pull that out and I need another spatula. I'm so glad I've got Grace to help me. So this is melting in the microwave and we're gonna add to it cocoa powder. This is three tablespoons of coconut powder. And so we want this to be a chocolate peppermint. Think of peppermint patty. And I'm going to add, this is a quarter of a teaspoon of coffee. This is instant coffee. Coffee tends to make cocoa taste stronger. And this is a quarter teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon does the th same thing. So cinnamon and coffee just intensify the cocoa, um, the cocoa powder. That little cocoa powder got away. Let's not let that happen. And the same thing with salt, just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Let's put that in there. This could stand to melt just a little bit more. And I'm going to put peppermint in it. I'm just going to put two drops of peppermint. One, two. <laughs> and this is peppermint extract. I got this at a local store, but this is food grade uh, peppermint oil, and it is phenomenal in terms of taste and flavor. I wish you could smell this. I need to add sweetener. And because of the coconut powder, excuse me, because of the cocoa powder, um, it's going to need more sweetener than is typical. And so I will put, again, four heaping teaspoons, which is a tablespoon of the mealus in there. And then I'll also add to it some of the liquid sucra. Uh, if I had the sucrin plus, it is a higher ratio of stevia, and I really love it. That is five drops of the liquid sucralis. And that whole thing is gonna go back in the microwave for just a few minutes before we blend it up. Notice there's no dairy in that. And it's okay to put the whole thing in there if it's just a arc, I'll grab it. Um, so once that's ready, thank you, Grace, I will blend this up. And I think we'll use the molds with this because it's pepperminty. I wish I had some molds. I've tried different molds and these work really, really well. I actually got these um, from a vendor on Amazon and I will put a link to his site and I really do like them. They are super easy. They come out great. And I'm just taking the immersion blender. This is one of those that if any of them are going to separate, it tends to be this one. That's why I added the coconut butter. So I do half coconut oil, half butter, a binder like peanut butter, cream cheese, or coconut man, or coconut butter, then flavorings and extracts, and after flavorings and extracts, um, sweetener, and that's it. This is also one of Grace's favorites and that she loves chocolate peppermint. Okay, I think we have this. Mmm. Um, wow, I'm going to put another drop of peppermint oil so that it'll be strong. Okay, and this just, you pop it out. And then I'm going to add a little more sweetener since I did that. And um, like I said, I have a feeling that these will be in Grace's fat pack. Now, the condiment cups, you've seen me use those and you've seen me talk about those. Um, they are great for this as well. And I'll grab some of those, but you can freeze this right in the condiment cups and they're great for trips. Um, that's what I do quite often, actually, if I'm traveling. Um, I will put them in condiment cups. They generally don't melt unless it gets above you know, 75 degrees or so. And, um, and they will refri refrigerate, they'll reform if it comes to that. So when I do this, um, the easiest way to put them in molds is to take a ladle, and I just use a ladle. Um, Gracie, can you grab a condiment cup so I can show this? 
sorry, I'm not well prepared for this, but I just used the ladle. And again, you want to use more than just a hand blender. You want to use a stick blender or your Ninja, because if any of them are going to separate, it will be these. You really want to get the oils to blend well. Notice, thank you, Grace. Notice I'm not being perfect on this. Um, I can, once I get it on here, I can take the spatula and run back over it. Now, we also, these are great molds. I want to mention this too, because they're flexible. We bought some plastic molds, candy molds, like at Michael's, and we were not pleased with them. Um, we nearly destroyed them. This is an example of what we've been using, and they're kind of a one-time use situation, so we didn't enjoy those. <laughs> we used them, and we did okay with them. Um, you almost have to run warm water over them to get it to work. So anyway, I'm just going to ladle this over, and again, I'm being kind of messy with it. And this will go in the refrigerator or the freezer. The thing is, if I put it in the freezer, it will set up more quickly, and so it's less likely to separate. It simply doesn't have time to do that. And you can see I'm just pouring it in. Now, I'll hand this off to Grace and let her finish pouring it in. And what she'll do, because um, all this is not going to fit in these molds, but what we'll do is we'll just use a glass dish. Um, it's just a glass Pyrex that has a lid, and we can put that in the fridge, and it'll be fine. We'll have candy canes and gingerbread men, um, <laughs> peppermint patties, and they're delicious peppermint patties because they don't have any yucky sugars in them. And again, I can just run the back of this over it to distribute that more evenly, and this works nicely. Okay, so that's pretty even. The other thing, and this is what I asked Grace to grab, we use, we get these little condiment cups at Walmart, and we use them all the time. Um, we send sour cream, avocado, shredded cheese. So if Grace takes, um, let's say she takes Mexican for lunch, um, we can put sour cream in here, all kinds of stuff, mayonnaise, mustard. If she takes a burger or something like that, that seems to work well. Um, you can also fill this up, this little condiment cup. Let's say you're going to travel or she wanted to put one in her lunch. This is a great serving size. You put it in there like that, pop the, lot, the lid on it, put it in the fridge, and um, again, it'll travel well. When I take these, I would put these, um, I would make four or five of them, put them in a Ziploc baggie. That way, if they do leak, it's not going to be on anything important in my luggage. And so the rest of this, I'm just going to ask Grace to pour directly into the, um, the glass dish. Okay, last one. We're getting there, and I'm going to have to move this stuff out of the way. Okay. We've got a snow day today, and so we're really enjoying the time off to make videos. Last one, and I was going to show you what I do with the coconut oil. This one's going to be our peanut butter one. Now, um, you see there's four ounces of butter in here, so I'm just going to take this and put, again, about the same amount. This is not unrefined because I know that I'm eating it, and I don't care. I don't mind the coconut taste, but if anybody else in my family was eating it, um, I would be using the refined coconut oil. So remember, use flavors that you like. Instead of the orange creamsicle, I could have put blueberry extract. I could have put strawberry. I could have blended my extracts and made a great pina colada. You see all that coconut oil? I'll take that and put it under the Keurig <laughs> and have the coffee go directly into it, swish it around and get all the coconut oil out of that um, because that's just how I am, I guess. Okay, so I've got about equal amounts of coconut oil and butter in that. And I wanted to make a peanut butter one. Now, some of you are going to say, why aren't you going to do peanut butter and chocolate? And I very easily could, except that there are carbs in peanut butter and there are carbs in cocoa powder. And so I don't want to add any more carbs than I have to. So I'm going to put in the peanut butter. Remember, this is my binder. It's about two heaping tablespoons. I promise it's not a lot more than that. I'm going to clean out the bottom of the jar. We go through so much peanut butter in my house. Um, cocoa powder, when you do the math, it is about two carbs per tablespoon. So if you can afford the carbs, but the idea of a fat bomb is keeping it very, very low carb and very high fat. 
where this becomes important, I just really want to talk about this for a second, because there are people who say that you shouldn't overeat fat, that fat should come from your hips or thighs and not from your cup. And I think what folks forget sometimes is that when you're just starting a low carb, high fat diet, your body's used to burning um, carbs. If you don't give it something else to burn, what's it going to burn? You've got to give it fat in the beginning to become fat adapted. So I used fat bombs a lot more in the beginning than I did previously. The other thing is these fat bombs can really help you push through cravings. Cravings are created when you're hungry or, um, yeah, when you're hungry, when you're simply not getting enough food. There are other reasons that you can have cravings, but fat is one of those things that's very difficult to overeat. One, you get full and you don't want it. So that's why when you're hungry, you wanna err on the side of eating fat. That's why you make fat bombs. Also, if you are a victim of PMS and you crave sweets, getting something really fatty will help, especially with that fat craving. I always say about low carb, high fat, if you're hungry, you're doing it wrong. You shouldn't be hungry eating this way. All right, to the peanut butter and the coconut oil and the butter, I'm adding salt, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Notice I've added salt to all of these. I simply love it. I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave again. So easy to make this. Put that on. Grab a fresh spatula. <laughs> because I didn't plan so well. Actually, grab this one. And I think my helper is washing something else for me so I don't have to worry about using the, um, the um, Ninja. Thank you, Grace. And again, notice that these are not dairy-based, so you don't have to make them dairy-based. Some people think you have to put cream or cream cheese in all of them, and certainly you can if you'd like, but dairy tends to stall me, and so I really do like not the, um, the dairy-free options. All right, that needs to go a little longer. And, well, <laughs> a little bit longer. And again, I'm going to put it in this container. And when it's, after it's set, I can just cut it into pieces. I'm going to add more sweetener to it. And I'm going to add vanilla extract. And I'm gonna add a tiny bit of cinnamon. Okay. I love using the immersion blender for this. It has worked so, so well. Okay, I'm gonna put, I think we have this enough to use this. Um, I don't use the immersion blender for much because I have been afraid of it. it hasn't gone all over the kitchen yet, but there's still time. I'm gonna put a sprinkle of cinnamon sprinkle of cinnamon, if I can get it open. I'm not measuring, I do just want to sprinkle. That was about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to put the sweetener. Again, about a tablespoon. I'm counting out the milas, and I'm doing generous teaspoons. So we're gonna say a tablespoon. Use whatever your preferred sweetener is as much as you'd like. I'm gonna add vanilla. Quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm gonna add some liquid sweetener. Okay. That was two, three, four. And you know, there are savory fat bombs. We'll do some of those as well where you don't have the sweeteners because sweeteners can cause a problem. And again, I'll be talking more about sweeteners um, in a different video because sweeteners can make cravings worse. Generally, erythritol, stevia, and the liquid sucralose that I use are okay. Remember, liquid sucralose is different from Splenda because Splenda has maltodextrin. So anything with maltodextrin or dextrose or any of the other oses, you generally want to avoid. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Wow. It's salty and it's peanutty, and it is really, really super fantastic. Okay, I'm debating on sweetener. What do you think, Grace? <laughs> Grace says it's really good. Now, again, you can add chocolate to it to make it more like a peanut butter cup because of the carbs and us trying to keep the carbs really low. I'm not going to add it. 
And I think the peanut taste is going to be enough that I don't think you'll need it. Um, you know, I talked about how I used half peanut butter, half coconut oil, or excuse me, half butter, half coconut oil. Other binders that you could use um, instead of the cream cheese or the coconut butter or the peanut butter is you could use almond butter. That's another kind of a binder that you could use. You could use coconut cream, um, which is very good. There are several, several options. Okay, let's t um, put this in the fridge along with the others. In a few minutes, we'll see what we have. Hi, okay. We're back and we've had the fat bombs in the fridge for about 15, 20 minutes. It's been long enough for me to wash dishes. And you saw that it took me, I made three flavors in about 20, 25 minutes. So these are our little um, molds that we made with the, um, the little, what are these? Candy canes. Candy canes, thank you Grace. Little gifts, little stockings, little Christmas trees and Santa Clauses. And I'll show you these molds again. They're so, so easy. These are leaves. And I just pull them this way and stretch, and pull it this way and stretch a couple times. And all you're gonna do then is turn it over, and you can just punch it out. Whatever doesn't come out easily, just punch. And the leaves are so pretty. They have so many molds. They have flowers, and um, they have great things for kids, and showers, and that kind of thing. But you just punch them out. And there's a leaf. And you can see how nicely they come out. Okay. Grace, do you want to try one of these? Sure. Okay. And these are the chocolate peppermint. These are the chocolate peppermint. And those were the molds. So what do you think? Chocolate peppermint's good. <clears throat> can you get me in, Joe? These are the molds. And if you don't have molds, which we didn't have enough, but um, you just pop those out, and I still have candy canes to pop out. Um, my son has a friend over, and so the dog is barking like it's a zombie apocalypse. These are the little gingerbread men, by the way. So they're so good, so cute. Um, but if you don't have the molds, and you just pour them into a glass dish, it's super easy to manage that as well. And here is when you just pour it into a glass uh, dish, you can cut it, and you can cut it as straight or as crooked, and you can get them into squares, whoops, whatever serving size you think is appropriate. And these are not very hard, but when I've let them sit in long enough to be super, super hard, they, cr they come out like a crunch. This isn't very deep either. I'm not doing well with this, but you can scrape them up. They will harden if they've been in there longer, but generally they come out in little squares. Those are soft. And what I would do is, this is chocolate peppermint, so I would put the squares in here. <laughs> I can put the leaves in here pretty easily, and I'll put them in the freezer. And often I take these to work, and I will keep them in the fridge or the freezer at work. And Grace is going to store those for me. <laughs> That's the chocolate peppermint. Here's the condiment cup, and I guess this just needs to go back in the fridge for a little longer, because like I said, usually it pops right out at squares. Um, it still eats okay, like that too. Okay, Grace is more mortified than I am. <laughs> and this is the little condiment cup you can see. You can squeeze it out. Again, it travels really, really well, and that's perfect to take to work or on a trip. Okay, here is the peanut butter, and I was really anxious to try the peanut butter. I think Grace is gonna wanna try this with me too. I don't know how it may be too softly set. Um, you could also put parchment paper. Honestly, I've never paid a lot of attention because I always just make them for me, but Let's see if I can cut it in a square. It's still pretty soft. I was trying to get it out of the fridge quickly in order to do this. Oh, well, lesson learned. It's still going to eat really good. And you can use mini muffin cups too. Normally it comes out in a square like that as a whole piece. Um, and the same kind of thing, I'll put it back in the fridge and let it harden, but eventually I will put them into a little Ziploc bag. Are you going to try peanut butter? Yeah, mm. That's the peanut butter. <laughs> like it? Are it's you, just... Go ahead. 
you cannot taste the cinnamon at all. Like the cinnamon just helps, like I want to say, like brighten the flavor. Yeah, Grace wasn't excited when I put the cinnamon mm -hmm. and the peanut butter, but it you can't taste it if you didn't know it was there. It's really good. And again, fat bombs are just great when you're hungry. Uh, you can get one, and we put them in your lunch. So, and like if you're traveling, and all you can get is a salad and grilled chicken, the fat bomb is a great way to get extra fat. And this is super, super soft. It needs to go yeah, back in the fridge. Soft. Yeah, it will harden up. You might have to put them in a plastic container to keep it frozen, <laughs> but especially in the middle there, the edges are harder um, by far. This is the um, orange cream, and we could have used, like I said, any, any flavor on this. All right, Grace, yeah, it's hard on top and softer where I warm the cream cheese. Wanna try it? Okay. <laughs> I don't want a big fat bite. How is that? It tastes just like a popsicle. Doesn't it? Mmm. We put little it tastes, popsicle sticks in there. Mmm. It tastes like an orange dreamsicle. A creamsicle. Creamsicle. <laughs> we'll put, I think this is her favorite. <laughs> we'll put the recipe for each of these in the uh, written uh, video description. You might have to press show more or the down arrow to see the video. <laughs> but we hope that if you're just starting especially, that you find fat bombs is a great way to keep yourself on plan, keep yourself from getting hungry, and give your body the fats that it needs. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and for watching.